In this video, I'll show you how to set up your new iPad Air 6th generation using your iPhone or maybe even an older iPad. This way you'll be able to transfer your account and every other settings quickly in just a few minutes. First thing, once you turn on your iPad for the very first time, you should have this screen appearing after uh, swiping up where you select your language and if you bring your actual iPhone close to the iPad and turn it on, you should get this screen appearing on your iPhone. If you see this, simply press continue. If you do not see it, do not worry, I'll just show you how to do it. It will just take about 30 more seconds. So on the iPad, go ahead, select your language. I'll select English for this tutorial. Then select your region, mine is over here, Canada, I'll tap on it. Select an appearance, this means if, if, you want your, if you want your icon and the text to look small, drag this cursor here to small. If you want it to be bigger, select medium or even large. I'll keep it to default. Then press continue. And now we'll have this quick start menu appearing. This is very important. It will say looking for nearby device. What you need to do now is to make sure your iPhone is turned on and bring it closer to your iPad. And now you should see this screen appearing on the iPhone. So I'll go ahead and press continue. Okay, connecting. And now what you need to do is you're going to see a graphic here on the iPad itself bring your phone and try to scan it using your phone. So in this circle on your iPhone, you need to, uh, whoops, to point directly to the circle over here on the iPad. And uh, both will scan in just a few seconds. And here you're gonna get your Apple ID with your picture and you're gonna have the option to set up for me. You can also create a new child account if you intend to use this iPad for a child and not uh, yourself. I'll select set up for me and now it will say finish on new iPad so I'll put this iPhone down. Now you have to enter the password of your iPhone on your iPad. They'll ask us to install a software update if your iPad needs one but you can also do this later so I'll select update later but you can do it now if you have the time. Usually it takes just about four minutes. Then press continue now they'll ask you to set up Touch ID. Touch ID is the center that is located right uh, where Touch ID um, it says on the screen here. And you just have, let me show you, to tap gently with, you know, the face of your uh, finger like this. Oops. Cover the whole button a few times. Make sure you cover the whole button. Okay. If you do not cover your whole button, they will tell you, like they just did to me a few times here. So I'll just do it like that. Okay. Usually after 10, 12 times. Okay, perfect. Now we need to capture the sides of your finger. Press continue here and scan each sides of the same finger. Okay, and then you'll have added. Press continue. You can add another fingerprint. I don't want, I'll just use my index here. So I'll press set up later in settings. Now go ahead, select agree. Here they'll ask you transfer your apps and data from different devices. So you have from your iCloud backup, from another iPad, Mac or PC, from Android or don't transfer anything. Well, in this video, uh, well, this is why you clicked. You want to transfer your data from your iPhone probably, right? Well, iPhone is not on this list. What should you do? Well, just click on don't transfer anything. And on the second step, they'll uh, ask you to transfer from your iPhone. So I'll click don't transfer anything and over here, here we go, make this uh, your uh, new iPad. Here's everything set up as you had it on your iPhone. Here we go. If you want to customize these settings, you can uh, tap on them and over here you can choose what you want to sync with your iPad if you want to do a more custom transfer. If not, simply press continue. 
Over here, uh, location services is, do you want the GPS of this iPad to be on? For Find My and other apps, uh, you can enable service location or disable. I'll select enable. Here it will say add a card. It simply means that there is already a card probably with your Apple ID or Apple account and they simply want to confirm this credit card. You can choose to do it or if you do not want to put this card on your iPad, select add this card later. I'll click on this. iPad analytics. Do you want to transfer your uh, personal data on how you use your iPad to Apple to help them conceive the next iPad or improve their firmware? Well, this is up to you. I don't want to share these details, so I'll select don't share. And finally, you'll get here, get started, and you are on the home screen of your iPad, finally. So this is how you connect your phone, okay, iPhone, to your iPad Air 6th generation. Now let me show you how to do certain things. This way you'll be more familiar with your new device. Over here we have some widgets, as you can see. This is how they're called. And over here we have some apps that come pre-installed with your iPad. Some of them you can delete, some of them you cannot. If you want to change their position, you can simply keep press on them and then you'll be able to move them around on the position you, you would prefer. You can simply remove them from the home screen so you do not see them, but they're still installed on your iPad by clicking this small line here and you remove from home screen. The app will disappear, but the app will still be installed on your iPad. You can put it back at any time. If you want to see all the apps that are installed on your device, simply go like this towards the right side and you'll arrive over here. This is called the app library. This is where you see all the apps that are installed and they're grouped into different categories. So over here we have information and reading. If you tap on it, you're going to see them all. You can tap anywhere on the screen to go back on this and you can see over here in each groups there's a bunch of apps that come pre-installed on your iPad. And even if you download some in the future, they'll always be grouped. This way it's easier to find them um, afterwards. If you enter an app like I just did over here and you want to exit, simply drag up from the bottom of the screen where you see the line like this. And you see the app is over here. You just have to go up like that, like you saw. Let me redo it once more. You see, like that. So you can close it. Actually, you do not close it. It goes in the background. If you want to, if you have multiple apps that are open, let me just open a few of them like that. Okay, you simply have to go again, swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Whoops, let me do it again. And you're gonna see them all appearing and you can uh, completely close them by swiping them up. And you see they disappear. This means the app is completely closed. It's not in the background anymore. If you want to modify certain quick settings, you simply need to drag down from the top right corner of your screen like this. You're gonna have these quick settings appearing and here you can uh, select the volume up and down. You have some vo uh, volume buttons on the iPad itself, but you can also do it through this menu. You have the brightness of the screen. You see, simply by dragging it up and down, you can do this. You have the airplane mode, Wi-Fi hotspot, Wi-Fi settings over here, Bluetooth settings. If something is playing on YouTube or a podcast or music, you're going to see it here so you can play pause quickly. And you have other um, options like screen mirroring. And you can also lock the orientation of the screen here. If I click on it, you see if it's red, it means it's locked. So even if I turn my iPad this direction, nothing will turn. It won't adjust automatically. Let me remove this. And you have also a few more settings over here. If one of these widgets is annoying you and you don't want anymore, keep it pressed. And then you're gonna get this uh, settings. You can remove it by select, selecting remove stack. Remove. Here we go. And you see the apps takes the empty space automatically.